Hello everyone. Today, we're going to explore the fascinating topic of democracy in the United Kingdom and understand how it works. Democracy is a system of government where the people have the power to make decisions about their country's laws and policies. In a democracy, citizens have the right to vote and choose their leaders through elections. In the UK, we have a parliamentary democracy. This means that we elect representatives to a body called Parliament, which is responsible for making and passing laws. Parliament is divided into two main parts, the House of Commons and the House of Lords. The House of Commons is made up of members of Parliament, commonly known as MPs. These MPs are elected by the public during general elections. The UK is divided into areas called constituencies, and each constituency elects one megapixel to represent them in Parliament. There are 650 constituencies in total. The House of Lords is the second chamber of Parliament. Unlike the House of Commons, its members are not elected. Instead, they are appointed and include life peers, bishops, and hereditary peers. The House of Lords reviews and suggests amendments to legislation proposed by the House of Commons. This helps ensure that laws are carefully examined from different perspectives. At the top of the government is the Prime Minister, who is usually the leader of the political party that has the most MPs in the House of Commons. The Prime Minister leads the Cabinet, which is a team of senior ministers responsible for different government departments like education, health, and finance. The UK is also a constitutional monarchy, which means we have a monarch, a king or queen, who is the head of state. Currently, the monarch is King Charles III. Although the monarch's role is largely ceremonial, they perform important duties such as giving royal assent to bills passed by Parliament, which is the final step for a bill to become law. Elections are a crucial part of UK democracy. General elections are held at least every five years, but they can happen sooner if Parliament is dissolved. During an election, citizens over the age of 18 who are registered to vote can go to a polling station to cast their ballot. Voting is a way for citizens to have a say in who represents them and how the country is run. In the past, not everyone had the right to vote. For instance, women were not allowed to vote until 1918, and even then, only women over 30 who met certain property qualifications could vote. It wasn't until 1928 that all women over 21 gained the right to vote, equal to men. This change was the result of many years of campaigning and protesting by people who believed in equal rights. Democracy in the UK also involves the protection of certain rights and freedoms. These include the freedom of speech, the freedom of the press, the right to a fair trial, and the right to privacy. Citizens can petition the government, protest peacefully, and express their opinions without fear of punishment. However, with these rights come responsibilities. It's important for citizens to stay informed about political issues and to participate in the democratic process. This doesn't just mean voting, it can also mean contacting your MP about issues that matter to you, joining a political party, or even running for office yourself. The law-making process in Parliament involves several steps. Proposed laws, known as bills, are introduced in either the House of Commons or the House of Lords. These bills go through multiple readings and debates where MPs and Lords can suggest changes or amendments. Once both houses agree on the content of a bill, it is sent to the monarch for royal assent, after which it becomes an act of parliament and becomes law. Technology has also influenced democracy in the UK. The rise of social media has made it easier for people to share their views, organize campaigns, and access information. While this can enhance democratic participation, it also presents challenges like the spread of misinformation. In summary, Democracy in the UK is a system that empowers citizens to shape their government and society. Through voting and active participation, people can influence decisions that affect their lives and the future of the country. Understanding how this system works is essential for everyone living in the UK. Thank you for listening, 
and I hope this has helped you understand the key aspects of UK democracy.